Dude, Cody, this what is... What you guys are about to see in this video is insane. in Fukushima we've driven an hour and a half from Fukushima station to up north towards the, uh, the Fukushima actual like 30 kilometer radioactive zone and this tree right here behind me uh, it's in a town called Mini Soma I believe I'm saying there Mini Soma and this tree right here is one of the only trees that survived the tsunami that happened with Fukushima there used to be 5,000 homes here and now as you can probably see it's pretty barren um, we're gonna go explore around the rest of the 30k zone uh, just just this month actually residents who used to live here are allowed back in and only 14% of them have actually come back so it's pretty low people are pretty traumatized still since it only happened six years ago and uh, only recently people are allowed in here so that's why we're here today this tree right here is the only one around this area to survive as you can see this is like a barren wasteland now there used to be so many houses around here now they're all just completely demolished right over this barrier right here is actually the water so you can see how close we are to the water today we're joined by two urban explorers here in japan who again these urban explorers don't want to show their face so they're going to re remain anonymous but they've actually brought a geiger counter as well it's like the one i used in chernobyl and it's going to be telling us where the radioactive parts are what soil is radioactive they actually do the same thing as chernobyl they kind of clean up the area so you can come back here and you can live in this zone now but uh many people still fear fear the radioactivity and don't want to come back these are just like the things you went on steve yeah you can see it's protection against the water right there a bunch of barriers even over there it's kind of crazy to think that the water right here is so contaminated that it has messed up all the food sources around here for like fish seaweed everything that is in the water is just like contaminated with radiation it's also kind of must be sad for the people to come back here and think like a huge tsunami just came and wiped out the whole town right here. They like ruined their livelihoods, ruined their memories, their childhoods. They ruined everything, really. We have a Geiger counter here, just like the one we use in Chernobyl. It's actually only 0 0.09 here, which is really low. If you remember in Chernobyl, anything under 0.3 is pretty, it's pretty decent, it's pretty normal, uh, anywhere in the world really. I remember back in Kiev in Ukraine, it was like 0.2 in the city, which was far away from Chernobyl. So uh, they've done a pretty good job cleaning up here if it's 0 0.09. So not bad here. We're gonna continue on and see what the radiation is elsewhere. We've come to our first roadblock. Uh, this whole road, this whole street is just blocked off. You actually can't go through here because of the radiation, or at least with a car. You can walk though, so we're going to try and walk. I think this is a school right here we're going to try and go into. Due to the high amounts of radiation, that's why it's blocked off. Uh, I've never seen that before. I'm just kind of walking in the road now. And the only other people that seem to be on the road are construction workers or other tourists who are just kind of here with rental cars. We're looking at 2.8 over here. Let's bring it down to the soil. The soil reads it at 3.28, 3.65, 4. 4.69. Okay. I made it into the school. This is gonna be amazing. You know, the, the thing st stopped beeping actually. Yeah, it stopped beeping as we entered the building. So there's not a lot of radiation in here at all. Which is good for us. Yeah, very good. Oh my god. This. What do you think this was? Whoa! Japanese oh. flag. Dude, we're on a oh Yo, my god, you just shake the whole Dude, you shake the whole thing. What do you think this was? I think they were oh I think they were training here though, like a Yo, I think this is like a trampoline. Yeah, it's kinda weird, looks like but... a gymnastics place. <laughs> do you realize what we're doing right now? We're in Fukushima. <laughs> it's not the exclusive exclusive dome. Whoa. Look at this. Look at this. Statue. Look at this. It's like a Roman statue. This one too. Knocked over. 
This is so crazy, we're in this school. Oh, it looks like some trophies. Look at these. Looking at their, their school trophies right here. I can't read that, it's Japanese, but. This is one of their awards for some kind of some kind of a uh, sport, I'm guessing. Huh. It's like a big... I don't even know what to call this room. Looks like where they do their speeches. Yeah. Some kind of... Some kind of like... Community room. Yeah, definitely a, um, a place where they would like get together. Got the lights that were coming down as well. Yeah. So it could have been an entertainment. Look at this, guys. Out here, everything that you can see out there is abandoned. And we're just here exploring this. This is, this is a one in a lifetime opportunity. Check out this room. This looks like the tea rooms that I've seen before. The statue head, it's all blocky. This was a middle school or an elementary school, so it's not that big. We've already explored the top floor here, and really there's not that much. I was expecting it to be way bigger, um, but it's just not. I'm gonna assume this is their gym inside this room. Yeah, I think so too. Look at those trophies. What? Oh my god! We almost missed this. Dude, this is insane. This is huge. We're just walking around here in this huge gym. It's kind of weird that only six years ago, everything in this town was kind of abandoned. Everything, everyone was evacuated, everyone left. And it's kind of, kind of crazy that it all happened at the exact same time. Like a lot of times different buildings are abandoned for different reasons at different times. But everything here in this whole town, it was just abandoned at the same time. Which is pretty crazy. This is a huge gymnasium. It looks like up here they had some kind of like spelling bee. That's what it looks like. Either that or like some kind of debate. There's two different sides here. Definitely some kind of competition up here was going on last in 2011. Crazy. Look at this huge drum. Probably use that in like a play or something. And they have a huge grand piano here too. Dude, they have everything here. Well, I didn't find the classrooms, but I did find how to get up to the top part. We're just walking the main road right now. Like this town, this whole thing is abandoned. No. We even have some random cars parked. They're all rusted up. This is the school we just went into. We've never walked a whole town yeah, that's abandoned. In case you were wondering, that is the Geiger meter going off, but it's saying we're getting only 1.5, and that's for a full hour, so we're good here if we're here for only like 10 minutes. It's like a freaking temple. Look at this panda car out front. Jeez. Dude, oh look, it's like a shrine. Yeah, abandoned shrine, legit. This is insane. Let me check my meter. Right here. What kind of, what kind of car is this? We're still good, right, Josh? Yeah, we're still good. Gotta block it off. Oh, they just put like oh, so many huge boards. Oh my god. It's just kind of crazy that this is where kids actually would walk home from school, probably. Another man in vending machine. Just looks like an office. Nothing too special. Jeez, 
Yo, look at all these bikes. Again, I apologize for the beat. The yellow light is still going on this, this uh, light right here. It's crazy. It's still blinking. This is a legit ghost town. Dude, it's like The Walking Dead, seriously. This is just like The Walking Dead. There's so much stuff here to explore that it's like, we don't have enough time to see everything. This whole house is completely demolished too. <laughs> it's like a shrine. The gate got destroyed. There's so much stuff here that it's like, we don't even have time to go through it all. Look at this. This is a warehouse or something. Looks like a construction warehouse. We're just literally walking the streets, it's just us. It's almost like a movie set. That's how un unreal this seems. It seems like a movie set. Like yeah. It seems like we're on like a studio lot, but we're literally just walking through a town. This is an abandoned train station. Futuba. Futaba station. Dude, look at all the bags of contaminated soil. Yeah. All down the, they, you can tell it's abandoned because they just left it in the middle of the tracks right there. This is crazy how many bags you just see laying around this town. Oh my god, I can't believe we're doing this. <sighs> yeah. There's too many names to name this video. Check out all the bikes just left here. When you get off the train station, you can like park your bike here and you can keep it here. But obviously they just left all their bikes here. So now there's just a, probably a hundred or so bikes here. Yeah, I'd guess probably a hundred. We can go for a bike ride, Josh. Yeah. Whoa, it's trashed. We're gonna go inside of a family's house. Why do you think it's so trashed? I don't know, but there is so much stuff here. I swear people came here. Yeah, I think that's the case. People probably came here and trashed this place. I don't know why you're just trashing family's house. Uh, it's rare though, I'll try to see if you can do that here. Damn, I'd be, I'd be really upset if I just had to leave for my house and stuff. I'd definitely feel bad. Whoa. Especially if my stuff was trashed, if I had to go back to do that. Like my house got trashed, I'd come back. Yeah, so, so remember, imagine if like the family did come back and they saw this. Dude, this is definitely, I'm assuming this is a kid's room, like a, who knows, like a teen. Look at all his action figures. I think you're right. They're expensive too. The only reason why I think oh, you're right, man. the only reason I think you're right about it being a teen's room is because of this corner. <laughs> it's like variations of Playboy. Uh, it's crazy that this is so trash. The whole house is trash. Either they're a messy, messy household, or someone came and trashed this whole thing. I could literally walk around this place for days, but I don't have that much time here, unfortunately. There's just so much. All right, guys. Next up, I think we're going into a hospital. 